Carla and I uh, were looking at open houses in the paper on one Saturday, and I'd read the paper wrong. So we would go by an Aaron Cooper open house, and no one was there. So I called Aaron's phone, and she didn't answer. And I thought, typical realtor on the weekend, they won't answer the phone. And within five minutes, she had called me back and said that uh, I must have it must have been printed incorrectly. She was politically correct. It was really me that made the mistake. She said that she would be there on Sunday. So we went back on Sunday. She was there. She knew our names. And uh, we just hit it off really well. The first time we met her, that same day, we were just riding open houses and we saw the particular house that we bought on that open house. Uh, my motto is to look at a hundred and to buy one. I'm a seasoned real estate investor. I've been doing it for over 20 years. So I, I need a realtor that understands what my wants and needs are and will give me the ability to just go out there and look and then you know, they then feed me the information that I need. So. I couldn't really say how many that we looked at, but it was a lot, and uh, Aaron was very patient with me, you know, during the entire process, but we kept coming back to this home here. Our number one asset, I would say, was her promptness on calling me back. Being from the mainland and from the south and being an entrepreneur, if I want something, I want it when I ask for it. If I need it tomorrow, I'll call you tomorrow and ask you for it. And that's very important to me. Uh, working as a realtor for me can be pretty tough because I am a seasoned investor. I've uh, purchased uh, you know, a lot of properties over the last 20 years. Uh, I know what I'm looking for and what I wanted, I wanted right then. Aaron has been able to deliver that with no problems at all. When I ask her for market information, she always sends it to me. Uh, to this day, it's been over a year or almost a year now that we've closed on our home here. I still get monthly reports from Erin because she knows that I will eventually buy when I feel like the market is right. Another good thing I like about her, she doesn't pressure me into uh, to buying something that I'm not interested in. A lot of realtors will want to do that, and she lets me make my own decisions. I also value her opinion because she is a good realtor. She closes a lot of deals, makes things happen. So I value her opinion on 